Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax Pets here. Back in September of 2024, I put Porcelio Levis How Now, the ones on the right here, along with some Porcelio CF Levis Orange. Now, I put only very young individuals into uh, that enclosure, and um, this was to make sure that oranges had not yet mated with oranges, and that how nows had not yet mated with how nows. They were just too young. They were very small, as small as the uh, smaller specimens that you see here in uh, these two little deli cups. My intention was to recreate the same cross that uh, Derek Niehaus uh, completed successfully with how nows and oranges producing Colby Jacks. I have a video about that, which you can check out up here in the corner, but uh, so far, this is what I see. I have pulled out some representatives from the bin, and as you can see, I find adult oranges. I find very small um, oranges as well, and I find adult how nows and very small how nows. I do not see any uh, visual wild types, which would indicate that there was a successful cross and it had produced double hets um, for the orange and the how now traits. Um, how nows are not just one single gene trait, but we will still have hets for, uh, we would, if there were a successful crossing, have hets and those hets would look like wild types. That's not what we see here. So far, the only isopods I see in the bin and not all the isopods from that bin are in these deli cups, but uh, these were the only two phenotypes that I was able to find in, in the bin. So, so far, I have not succeeded in producing that cross. There could be a couple of reasons for that. I did start with a fairly low sample size, uh, so it is possible that just by chance, oranges only mated with oranges and how nows only mated with how nows, or that they mated at a very, very, very small uh, size. Isopods can mate at sizes far uh, smaller than their maximum size, but I separated them when they were very tiny, so that seems somewhat unlikely. But so does the idea that uh, they just happen to uh, find their own color morphs to mate with. When I've done this with other isopods, I've done this with Porcelio scaber, this kind of cross with Porcelio scaber, and I've done it with uh, Porcelionides prurinosis, and with the same numbers and you know so on, and, and had success with it. So a little bit weird. Another thing that could be going on is this particular um, orange strain that I have is Porcelia cf flavus orange is not the same species as the how nows and that the other cross that was done by Derek Niehaus was with a different line of oranges that was the same species. That's I guess possible. It seems rather unlikely as well. So not sure what's going on here. Those are those are some of the possibilities but very curious to see what happens. Uh, with this. Now let's look at my uh, other morph project that I've been working on. Now in these deli cups, once again, we have Porcelio Levis How Now on the right and Porcelio Levis Santorita Mountains here on the left. I could only use a single individual of the Santorita Mountains uh, because if, since this one presumably doesn't have any heads, it's just a, a wild type, any offspring produced uh, crossing these two types would look like a wild type, but if I were to put two or more in here and they were to mate, then uh, any offspring that looked like wild type, I wouldn't know if they were uh, carrying traits from the how nows or if they were just the purebred Santa Rita Mountains type, and so separating them would be a mess. So this is a much more recent experiment. I started this in November of 2024, and so they're younger. And these are the two phenotypes so far that I've seen. And I, this is much more likely, you know, I would expect this much more to see because they are just, just a younger group. They are starting to reproduce and um, they are offspring, um, but they are too small to tell because they are so small that they still appear white. And they're going to, doesn't matter if they're wild types or how nows uh, or if they're crosses between the two they're going to look white at this age, and so there's no uh, way to distinguish them. So as they get older, I should be able to start 
uh, to be able to tell, but they're very, very tiny now, at least all the offspring that I saw when I was looking through the bin. And so this one is not as confusing as the uh, previous one. It's, we just need more time on this one. But uh, I will keep you posted. Sometimes it's nice to just kind of check in and see what's going on. And if this is a kind of video that you do like, let me know in the comments what you think. And if it's a kind of video you don't really get a kick out of, let me know that too. I'd love to know what you think about it. And thanks for watching today. I post videos every Friday with live streams and shorts during the week as well. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.